Hello guys, in this lecture we learn about some of the basics of binary trees. This lecture deals with introduction to binary trees. So let's first see what are trees. Unlike those linear structures like arrays or linked lists, trees are hierarchical data structures. This type of data structure is used if the information to be stored forms a hierarchy naturally, just as in case of a file system on computers. Now let us see some terms related to trees. Trees are made up of nodes and edges. The topmost node is referred as the root node. So in this example, A is the root node and the nodes which are directly below a node are known as its children and that node is referred to as parent of those nodes. So in this example, we can say that B and C is directly below A, so B and C are children of A and A is the parent of B and C nodes. Also G is parent of H and I and H and I are known as children of G. If two nodes have same parent like B and C, they both have same parent as A, so they are known as siblings. And also we can see that nodes H and I, they have same parent as G, so they are also siblings. And another example of siblings in this is D, E and F. They all three nodes have same parent as B. So these all three nodes are siblings. Another term used in trees are the leaf nodes. So leaf nodes are those nodes which do not have any children. So in this example, D, E, F, H and I, these five nodes do not have any child. So they are known as leaf nodes. Now let us look at a particular type of tree called a binary tree. So main property of this tree is that all the nodes in this tree can have at most two child nodes. That means any node of this binary tree can have zero, one or two children. Since each node has only two children, so we call one as the left child and other as the right child. So in this example, we can see that this is a binary tree as all the nodes have maximum of only two children. So in this example, node one has two children, two and three. Again, node two has only two children, four and five. Three has only two children, six and seven. And the, uh, and the nodes 4, 5, 6 and 7, these are leaf nodes, so they do not have any children, so they have zero children. So there are some more examples of binary trees. So uh, this one, uh, is it a binary tree or not? Since all the nodes in this uh, tree have maximum of two children, as we can see that 8 has only 2 children, 5 and 4, 5 has 2 children, 9 and 7, 7 has 2 children, 1 and 12, and 12 has only 1 child, that is 2. Here uh, on the right side of the tree, 4 has only 1 child, 11 has only 1 child. So no node in this tree has more than 2 children, so hence it is a binary tree. In the second example, uh, we can see that each node, let's start with node 2, it has two children, node 7 has again two children, node 5 has only one child, node 6 has two children, node 2 has no children and node 9 has only one child. So uh, again in this example also no, no node has more than two children, so it is also a binary tree. Now we will look at binary tree representation in C. In order to represent a binary tree, we define a structure which contains the following parts. First, a data part to store the data value. Second, 
a pointer to the left child that stores the address of the left child of that node and third the right child that stores the pointer to the right child of the node a binary tree is represented by a pointer pointing towards the root node of the tree so in c it is simply uh, we'll make a structure node and th this would be the data part of the type integer and other two will be the uh, pointer to the left child and the right child now this code is to create a new node in binary tree so the first statement here uh, this first statement here this statement dynamically allocates memory for a new node so uh, now in this second statement we are putting the data to be stored in the tree in the data part of the node and in these two statements uh, and in these two statements um, it is initializing the right and the left child of the node as null and finally we are returning the node now let's see the driver program of our code so this is the main function the first line of this function we are creating a node name as root and we are calling the function new node and passing one as the argument so as we have seen the uh, function what a uh, new node does is that it dynamically allocates a memory for a node and it initializes the data part of the node by the value sent through the argument and the left child and the right child of the node are initialized by null so as we can see um, this will return a node having value as one and its left child and right child as as null as we can see here it is depicted we will get a tree whose uh, which who has a single node in it and its value is one and both its left child and right child are pointing towards null because it is the only node uh, only one node is present in this tree now in the next step the root of left equal to new node of 2 so now again new node function is called by passing the value 2 so now this will again return another node with value data value as 2 and the left child and right child pointing towards null and this will return and uh, this statement this will return to root of left so now the left child of root will point towards this new node so the left child will become uh, have the va will have the value 2 and the next uh, and in from the next statement we, s we see that root of uh, right equal to new node of 3 again we initialize the we put the value 3 as the right child of the root node so uh, we will get a tree as shown below here as we can see we will get a tree like this uh, 1 will be the root 2 will be its left child 3 will be its right child and uh, both children of 2 and both children of 3 they both will be null so now we will see the next statement this is the root of left of left so we know root is 1 and its left child is 2 and its left child is still null so now we will put the uh, now we will uh, put the value in the left child of 2 so now we will again calling the new node which will again return a node with value 4 and our tree will become like this as shown here as shown here like this so one will be the root two uh, will be its left child three will be its right child and two's left child will be four so this is a function uh, so this uh, program will give us a tree like this as shown here so this was uh, 
that uh, that's it for the introduction part of the tree